Hello dear students, welcome to this class of MA final paper 5th B that is American literature and dear students, in this another video, we will discuss uh, Arthur Miller's death of a salesman uh, as a tragic play or as a tragedy. Uh, as you all know, tragedy is very well defined by Aristotle and with reference to the emotional effect of tragedy, Aristotle, he says that it excites pity and fear. Tragedy brings about the catharsis of uh, such emotions, the emotions of pity and fear. This is the most controversial part uh, of Aristotle's definition, of course, and as you know, the uh, tragic element is very well enjoyed by the audience. A tragedy by arousing pity and fear shows us, that is the audience, of uh, the very feelings which always exist in our heart. Like medicine cures uh, illness. Dramatic tragedy or tragedy, it cures the audience or we can say it purgates him. A tragedy, therefore, we can say it uh, affords an emotional relief and the audience or the spectators or the reader, he rises at its end with a feeling of pleasure. And if we talk in terms to Aristotle, it is the aesthetic function of the tragedy. So, the tragic element in death of a salesman are various and today the grandeur and verse, the splendor and eloquence and the beauty of words in a tragedy arouse a very keen aesthetic pleasure in the reader or the spectator or the audience we can see. Now a tragic hero, who is a tragic hero? According to the traditional view, the tragic hero, he should be a person of a high status, a king or a prince as in Hamlet, Othello, Macbeth. Oedipus or one holding an exalted rank like all these I mentioned or we can say that all Shakespearean tragic heroes fulfill this condition. Hamlet was a prince, Othello, then Macbeth. So a tragic hero is a person of high status and his tragic fall is what makes a tragedy. In ancient Greek tragedy, if we talk of ancient Greek tragedy, destiny or fate is chiefly responsible for the fall down, for the downfall of human beings or the hero. So fate plays a, a very important role. In all of the Shakespearean tragedies, this downfall is brought about by some fault in the tragic hero himself, his own tragic flaw. So, let us now consider death of a salesman as a tragedy in which Willie, let us evaluate Willie as a tragic hero, we can say. So, how Willie falls down or how his tragedy is meted out, let us try to conquer this issue and I hope you have understood the uh, Aristotelian concept of tragedy and how the Shakespearean heroes, they uh, fall down from the high pedestal and how the tragic flaw in their own characters lead to their tragedies. Uh, 
Miller's concept of tragedy, we can say, is entirely different. He doesn't present to us a hero of exalted rank or a prince or a king or a general. His hero is a common man. And in Death of a Salesman, it is Willy Loman. He is a common man, a salesman. He is not a man of uh, high rank. Loman is merely a middle class salesman. Thus, he belongs to the common people and he lives in the common place. Miller, he tells us that he cannot see that the play, it should be just from ancient Greek standards or it should be uh, evaluated through the Aristotelian concept of tragedy. No, it's a modern day tragedy. It represents a common man living in common household. Now, Willy he is unaware of his distance from values that endure. He would have uh, died contentedly in the course of some routine job, but he is agonized by his awareness of being, a, of being in a very false position. And all the hollowness that he has placed his faith in. He has an intense consciousness that the life he had built for himself was without form and inner meaning. It was hollow. So, the tragedy in death of salesman is responsibility for Willie. It is all responsible for Willie's tragedy. It lies on the society of which he is a member of. Willie dies as a victim of what is called the Great American Dream. And what is this Great American Dream? As we discussed in an earlier video, is the Great American Dream according to which a man can attain material success by means of personal attractiveness, personal charm, personal magnetism and personal contacts. No, it is not like this. This is the kind of dream or a myth which has been fostered and which has been deliberated upon by so many authors and critics like uh, Dale Carnier. So, the Tragedy of Willie is not that of a person of high rank. It is the tragedy of a common man, a common people. Thus, we can say that in this social drama, that of salesmen, we can term it a social drama and it leads to the tragedy of Willie Loman, the salesman. In other words, we can say that the tragic feeling in this drama is evoked in us when we are in the presence of the character who is ready to lay down his life. And here, Willie, he did have values and that the fact that those values could not be realized because he was living in a hollowness. So, we can say that death of a salesman, it also hunts the secret of his failure, the secret of Willie's failures and how the social laws have replaced fate as a man's relentless enemy. Now, the social laws. The social law, here is one, which says 
that a person who has failed in society and in business has no right to live and this leads to the tragedy of willy loman death of a salesman this law of success this is how in modern society a person is evaluated he is evaluated by his success so this law of success is not administered administered through legislation but it is merely a powerful as powerful in its grip on people it is a social law social status so we can say that willy's own folly and short sightedness of fulfilling this great american dream because his neighbor his neighbor charlie does not believe in any such myth and has yet made a fortune and willy he lives in this hollow hollowness and the law of success it has a very powerful grip on willy and that is why willy suffers this tragic end it is this grip of this social success law the law of social success the law of success in america which is responsible for this tragedy of the sales the tragedy of willy loman dear students i hope you have understood how the tragedy of willy loman occurs and who is none other than he himself is responsible for his tragedy thank you very much